Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So uh, back for another meatloaf after my uh, my big multi-state adventure. Um, so went to Mount Hopkins and helped my friend Don uh, do a little, uh, uh, actually a big installation of a, uh, a telescope enclosure. So we're going to have some footage from that. Um, I got a lot of footage of that, so I'm going to probably break that up a little bit and uh, put it in a couple of videos. Um, and then. On that same note, I want to thank a, uh, a viewer in Arizona. Uh, Gordon Melby actually lives about, I don't know, 10 miles from where I was down there. And we actually managed to connect up. And uh, Gordon uh, was nice enough to uh, um, show us the uh, Titan Missile Museum, which is actually pretty cool. And uh, if you guys haven't seen that, uh, we'll throw a, little, throw a little link up there to the Titan Missile Museum and um, it's actual uh, missile silo in the middle of the desert out there and they actually there's a missile in there and the whole control room and all that and it's uh, uh, let's just put it this way it's a nerd fest down there okay so if you like that kind of stuff um, and you're going through uh, Tucson uh, go check it out and then there's the Pima Air Museum you should check that out too very uh, very cool stuff and um, anyway, Gordon, thank you very much for hooking us up down there and, uh, and uh, pulling us off the job and, uh, and having us go look at that. So uh, uh, I'll see you next time when we come down there and we'll try out that Mexican restaurant you're talking about. Um, then moving on, we got, some, uh, we got a little bit of viewer mail while I was gone, so we're going to crack that open, take a look at it. Um, another little um, um, kind of adventure uh, uh, through uh, the YouTube viewership and got a new tool acquisition out of that and we'll take a look at that and um, just kind of getting back on the horse here guys and uh, and let's get back to some some real work here and uh, we got a bunch of projects that are kind of in different different states of startedness and uh, so let's get cracking on those and uh, and uh, get some real work done here so let's go look at some goodies and then uh, let's go do some work okay so um, this is uh, this week's uh, kind of meatloaf uh, um, grab bag here. Um, got a few things to talk about. And we're doing the uh, kind of the wide shot so you guys can see me talking a little bit. Um, so a couple things going on here. And I'll, and I'll zoom in on some of these things uh, um, in a minute here. So this is, uh, we were talking about these little brass oilers last week. And this is uh, one I bought off eBay. Um, and it's a smaller one, and it's going to be for this uh, this wobble drive. So we'll make a brass uh, attachment block that this screws into, and this will have a little bit of uh, lubricant in it to lubricate the mechanism. So uh, we'll clean that up. Um, I opted not to make one um, just because uh, I kind of like the the mix of old and new a little bit, and. Um, um, and honestly, it was easier to. Um, <laughs> I've got enough projects on my plate um, as it is. So anyway, and I'll zoom in on that, and you guys can see that. Um, I got my handle that I ordered for the uh, this variable speed <clears throat> uh, angle grinder here, and this is this. Uh, it's a pretty trippy handle. It's got kind of a shock absorber uh, mount in it, and that came from. I ordered that direct from Bosch, uh, and it was it was fairly cheap. Um, and it came, you know, they shipped the UPS ground, so it took a few days to get here. Um, we've got a little tray of stuff here from a viewer. This is from uh, Dana Gray, and we'll kind of go through some of that. And I noticed uh, Adam already beat me to it. Uh, Dana sent um, Adam a, a little kit, too. And, uh, we'll, but uh, this one's a little bit different here, so uh, we'll go through a couple of the unique items there. Um, this is uh, this week's cool find here. And uh, we'll talk about that in a second, too. I'll zoom in on it, and uh, you guys can take a look at it. Um, kind of an interesting uh, uh, story there with, uh, with this vice. Um, anyway, and then, uh, and then we're going to mix in some of the uh, Mount Hopkins uh, uh, footage there of uh, building the, or assembling the uh, Aquawamp. So let me uh, get the camera set up kind of close up, and then we'll, uh, we'll look at some of these things real quickly. Okay, so here's the. Oop, I don't want to knock that, knock that off the table. This thing's 60 years old, and I don't want to knock it off the table and break it before it gets a chance to get used. Um, what I wanted to show you first was this uh, this Bosch handle, and it's kind of has this 
omnidirectional little accordion thing here of soft, softer rubber. Um, anyway, it's kind of a, I don't know, pretty high tech handle there. Uh, um, the only thing I don't think I quite like about this is this is coming off at an angle. I'll probably get used to it, but uh, uh, it's a little bit weird. Anyway, uh, Rick J gave me this uh, variable speed grinder. Now I have a handle for it and, uh, and mounting hardware. I'm kind of good to go. I'll get this set up and you'll start seeing this in the video. So uh, Rick, thanks for the grinder. Yeah. Okay, so here's the one I showed last week. Um, and this is the one that, uh, that Rick J brought me also. And um, anyway, there's his name right there. Um, and he had a little collection of these and he let me pick one out and that was the one I picked out. But it was, it was too large. So here's kind of for comparison, that's quarter pipe and that's one eighth pipe there. You can see this is uh, considerably smaller. This is a, uh, a Royal. Um, I don't think it says the volume on it, but that's, you know, an ounce or something like that. And this is probably six ounces here. This is a, a Lunkenheimer here, uh, number three. And I believe this is a zero or a double zero um, uh, kind of equivalent. So it's got a, uh, um, a needle valve here with a little locking element and there's a little fill spout there and uh, so you can kind of control the flow and then this one has a glass tube all the way down to this area here. Uh, well so does that one. I think the one that uh, uh, Myford Boy made uh, didn't have this glass tube down here but I could be wrong about that. Um, so anyway that's that. That's going to go on the uh, the wobble drive and um, uh, that was an eBay finder. So actually I probably sh maybe I should have taken it apart on camera so Anyway, there it is. Okay, so this uh, little lot of stuff here comes, from, comes to us from Dana Gray. And uh, he wrote me a nice little note here. And uh, um, he sent some stuff to Adam also. Um, and uh, some similar tool bits uh, that he had here. And these are just brazed carbide ones. It looks like they were uh, rusty at one point, but he cleaned them up real well. Uh, these are real nice. This is kind of my uh, my favorite style uh, with this slight offset like this um, so you don't get your tool post so close to your, your chuck and your work holding. Um, anyway, we used to use a lot of these. and In fact, I got a drawer full of these things that are ground in all kinds of crazy shapes. Uh, these, one, these particular ones have just been touched up a little bit so there's tons of life left in them. And uh, those are always great for uh, custom uh, carbide tool bits. And we got carboloy and uh, Morse. Let's see who else we got in here. Uh, I don't know who that is. SCT. Yeah. Um, so we got uh, facing, turning, and then uh, and then some left hand as well. Uh, so there's those. And then um, what Dana sent too is. Uh, some um, uh, grinding wheel dressing stuff. So these are these are little diamonds here, and uh, actually that one didn't fit in there very good. This one I think fits in there. Yeah, and it has a side screw, um, or we can put it this way. So for dressing uh, surface grinder wheels and whatnot, and then uh, there's another one here, quarter inch shank. Uh, so those are kind of handy, and a cool little block. And this has got this kind of crisscross relieved. Uh, looks like it's uh, the bottom of some instrument or tool or whatnot that uh, somebody either made into a little dressing thing or um, um, you know cut up to use as one something like that. Those are always cool. I, I've always liked that pattern on the on the bottom of um, precision instruments. So the idea is that uh, you you slide it around on the plate and any dirt and dust kind of ends up in those cracks and doesn't uh, doesn't rub so there's lots of the surface is interrupted there um, so that's kind of cool and then this is another uh, little let's see if I can get this off of here this cap fits really good I pulled it up before come on of course I'll probably rip my fingernail off on camera right <laughs> there it goes so it's got a diamond and this one's at a little angle there. Maybe you can see that. Um, so you put this side down here and then um, 
your wheel rotations like that, okay? Um, and then you can traverse across. It doesn't have a real big base on it though, but it's probably plenty for, uh, for dressing a, uh, a grinding wheel. So, uh, and, and it looks like you can lay this one sideways too if you want to. Uh, like that and do a little side wheel dressing also which is kind of nice so um, anyway Dana thank you very much those are cool and uh, we'll have a surface grinder in here one of these days I think I've mentioned I do have one um, it just hasn't been brought to the shop yet so I, I got plans for a major reorganization in here so I can make a little room for all this now this one here this is a nice tool bit here I like this one uh, rectangular cross section it's about 3 16 uh, width out of the tip. I don't, th this may have been used once or twice here, uh, but this is, uh, this is in pretty good shape here. Uh, this is great for, uh, for grooving and, uh, and it's stiff enough you can groove and you can turn with it a little bit or both directions if you want. Um, you can sometimes regrind these a little bit so you can do um, face grooving with them, okay? And uh, sometimes there's enough meat on them you can uh, you can do that. And this rectangular cross section is really is is really rigid in this direction. So um, anyway, Dana, thank you very much for this nice little uh, goodie bag there. And uh, Dana uh, makes uh, fly rods, so um, uh, you can look at the uh, CarlsonRodCompany.com and check out some of Dana's work and uh, and see some of that. So thank you very much. All right, so this is the uh, uh, one of the cool acquisitions for uh, um, this week here, and what this is is this is a Wilton bullet vise, um, and this is a uh, um, 300N, so N means non-swivel, and this is a machinist vise, and this is a you know industrial uh, heavy-duty vise here. Um, I don't looking at it. I don't know what the vintage is of this particular one, but what I can say is looking at it is um, it's brand new, okay? Um, I don't think this thing's actually ever even clamped anything. So you look in here, in this area here, and um, you know, you look for beat marks and whatnot or rounding here, sharp edges all here. So, and then here's the other one is these die after a while, so you never hardly ever see them with the, uh, with the rubber bumpers on them. So the deal on this, uh, this is kind of a, a, an interesting, you know, and this, this is the kind of stuff that happens through YouTube and, uh, and through this community that we're building up is, you know, friends help out friends, right? So the deal here is uh, I got an email from uh, a viewer. His name's Joey, Joey G. Okay, I'm not going to use his last name on here and in case he cares. And um, uh, Joey um, uh, had another friend that uh, has a business, and um, this guy's business is um, estate liquidations. So, uh, and you can check out, uh, here's uh, Michael's company, uh, MG Estate Liquidations. You can go check that out. And um, anyway, he has an upcoming auction um, of industrial stuff and he, ne he generally doesn't do industrial stuff so he there were some things in in the uh, in this particular lot of stuff that uh, um, he you know he didn't know how to evaluate so uh, and that's how I got involved is they asked me if I was interested in taking a look at this stuff and, and helping uh, Michael out with putting some values on some of these things so I went out there and, uh, and did that. And this is out of the Central Valley in California, uh, Oakdale to be specific. And um, the sale will be coming up pretty soon. So if you guys want to show up and, uh, and check it out, uh, it's going to be pretty cool. There's lots of small tools and, uh, and there's some cutters and, uh, and, you know, workbenches, you know, typical business stuff that uh, guys like us like. Um, anyway, that's in Oakdale. And, and you can check out Michael's site. Uh, for the exact dates and times, it's gonna, it's coming up pretty soon here in mid uh, December. Um, so anyway, I bought a couple of things from uh, Michael, and this was one of them. And uh, Michael was very generous; he gave me a really good deal on this. So uh, um, anyway, and hopefully, uh, um, you guys, if you go out there, you can find some stuff of your own. So I went out there with a friend of mine, uh, Andy from VPI Tool. Uh, who's a local guy here, and you'll meet him someday. 
Um, anyway, we rolled out there and uh, uh, took a look at this pile of stuff. So this was my uh, my nice find for uh, for the week. So uh, um, anyway, Michael, thank you very much. You guys check out Michael's website and uh, go check out his sale and buy some stuff from him. Help him out. And Joey, thank you very much. And uh, talk to you guys later. Okay, the adventure begins. That's where we're going up on that peak up there. Um, the observatory's up there. Right now it's about 6.30 in the morning. We're fueling up. Got the Akawans uh, on the trucks. And uh, getting some fuel. We're gonna head up the mountain and uh, survey the, uh, the site. So, it's starting to get exciting. I see that little bump on that, uh, that peak up there. It's about seven miles away. And uh, that's where we're headed. Wonderful day. Nice and cool. Good to go. Alright, so when you get a chance to look at something cool, always take it, even if you get yelled at. <laughs> this is just at the, uh, the kind of check-in station here. I don't know what these are exactly. We're going to go check it out though. Lucky you'll see my reflection. <laughs> oh, this is very cool. The yeah, little flat mirrors and little adjustable mounts. And they can adjust them, and tune them. I'm gonna try to go up there. <laughs> okay, I'm probably not supposed to be up here, but what the heck. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oop, there's where we're going up there. Sneak fest. Look at how I'm magnified in that picture there, or in the reflection. Because I'm near the focal point. Cool. I think this will work. There's the pad. Oh. Oh. Geez, we, this yeah. time we don't have to go up and down stairs. So, uh, to haul all the tools and stuff. There's the mounting pads. Electrical and telescopes mounted to those little pedestals there. Or the instruments. I don't know what instruments are going on this one.
United States Marine Corps. I don't think they're using the uh, diesel uh, exhaust fluid on this one. Yeah. <laughs> Don's taking a picture of the ground. They decided to use a smaller train. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 